Let's add custom structures to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft again, indeed, because today we are going to add custom structures to Minecraft. Now I have already built this beautiful Kaupen house, as I will call it. Now you can see inside of it, you know, we just have some of our custom wood basically here, the red maple stuff, as well as a chest in the middle that's just empty. And then also, you know, a soul lantern, as well as a lot of doors. Now, let's just close those doors, and how do we get this structure that we've built into, well, first of all, a form that the game understands, and then secondly, how do we then get to spawn it? Well, for the first part, we need to give ourselves the structure block right here, and we need to place it at the uh, two corners, basically. So we're going to place it at this corner first, and this is going to be the structure name tutorial mod colon count underscore house, and then we'll just... Select it, press Ctrl A to select it, or Ctrl C to copy it, and we'll change this to save mode done. And then we'll go to the opposite corner and we'll put this right here. There you go. And then this is going to be corner mode done. And if we now go back to this guy, we should, if we hit detect, it should, there you go. So it detects the entirety of the structure. Absolutely perfect. What we can then do is we can hit save and you can see it is now saved as tutorial mod Kaupen House, and we can proceed into IntelliJ. Now inside of IntelliJ, we want to go to the run folder inside of the saves folder, and then whatever your world was where you had this, so this was the structures world, in the generated folder, you should have an NBT file. So what you can do is you're going to basically select the structures folder over here, press Control C to copy it, and then go all the way to resources, data, tutorial mod, and paste it in right here. There we go. Now our structure as an NBT has been added and we could now spawn it via a command or via the structure block. Now the great thing is that the entire structure can be added with JSON files only. So we only need to add a couple of JSON files and then our structure will spawn in the world. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add another tag over here and that's going to be under data tutorial mod tags and then inside of the tags folder we want a new directory called a world gen. Inside of that directory, we want another directory called a biome. And inside of there, we want a last directory, which is called has underscore structure. Uh, making sure that this is written correctly as well. There you go. And then we can basically start copying over the JSON files. Before I copy over the JSON files, I want to give the biggest shout out to Telepathic Run's Structure Tutorial Mod repository over here because this is a, an incredible resource for basically everything that has to do with structures at all. So if you want any more in-depth things like jigsaw structures or processor lists, things like that, just go to this repository. I will link in the description below. It is the best resource that is out there. Right, so then let's copy over the JSON files. Now, all of those will, of course, be available to you in the description below. Get our repository and individual just as well. But you can see, this is just a tag over here that basically says, okay, these biomes, in these biomes, our Kaupen house can spawn. That is all that there is to it. So nothing too crazy. And now I want you to put, pay close attention because we're going to need a new folder inside of the tutorial mod folder. However, it is it, it's very easy for us to make a mistake here. So resources, data, tutorial mode, or whatever your mod ID is, right click, new directory, called worldgen. Now what you will find is that you have two worldgen folders that are very, very close together. One of them is in the tags folder, the other one is in the tutorial mod folder. These are different folders. Please pay triple eight, eight times attention to this because it is very, very easy to put something into the wrong folder here. So the best thing to do is close the tags folder and then you can see tags and then the world gen is at the same level as tags. Inside of there, we want a few things, namely three folders. The first one is the structure folder. The second one is the stru structure underscore set folder. And the last one is going to be the template underscore pool folder. So those three folders named exactly like this, very important. And then let's start adding the JSON files. Of course, the JSON house for the structure folder. Let's take a look at this. Now, I've added the comments over here. Those are all by Telepathic Grunt. So those are basically available in Telepathic Grunt's repository. And I've just added them here as well because they add an incredible amount of information to each different field that you can basically add here. I cannot recommend this enough to basically take a look at this. Now, if you take a look at this one, the template pool, this is the thing we're going to add in just a moment inside of this folder here. With the size over here, 
is, well, you can see how many pieces away from the central structure this is going to spawn. This is only interesting to us if we use jigsaw blocks, which we'll take a look at in the next tutorial. Max distance from center, well, you can see how far away can it spawn from the center of the spawn. Maximum distance away from center can these pieces spawn, cannot be greater than 128, all right? And then you have the biome tag, which is the thing that we've added before. So you can see this is under has structures Kalpen house, and it looks for, well, tutorial mod, and it looks for a tag. So it looks in the tags folder, world gen, biome, has structure, Kalpen house, JSON. And that is exactly what is being basically referenced right here. Surface structures, I'm pretty sure that this should, this step should always be the same. I don't think that there should be anything else here. Uh, maybe underground structures, that's the only other thing, but uh, we're not going to do underground structures in this tutorial. Then we have at what Y level is this going to spawn? Well, I'm actually going to put in zero here because I do think that minus one is not going to yield the result that I want. But we'll we'll see, we'll see. Uh, and then these are just basic normal things that you should always have. And then here you can also add some spawn overrides. So making sure that you add certain creatures over here inside of the structure for example then let's take a look at the structure set also Kalpen House JSON and you can see this is a little bit simpler basically we're just referencing the structure JSON file right here and then we're giving it a weight so if we had multiple JSON files we could reference all of them give them different weights and then depending on the weights you know depending on the likelihood one or basically either of them would spawn randomly. The placement here is extremely important. So the salt has to be a high unique number, but it can't be too high. So it can't be higher than the integer limit, very important. And also it has to be unique. Otherwise your structures will overlap. The average distance apart and the minimum distance apart should be fairly self-explanatory. In the end, I really recommend to ramp those numbers up if you have an actual mod with structures in it, because 20 and six is way too little. Like it's, it is definitely not enough but that is going to be okay. Here, the only other kind of placement is the ring-based placement, which we're not going to take a look at. For the most part, random spread pretty much covers everything that you're going to need for the time being. And then in the template pool folder, we're going to make a new folder called Kalpen underscore house. And inside of there, we want the start underscore pool JSON file. And this is going to be very interesting indeed. So this just references itself, basically. So Kalpen house is the folder and start pool JSON is the name. If there's something wrong and it fails to generate, then we're just going to make it empty. So nothing is going to generate. What is this? The location here is tutorial mod. So it's going to look in the data folder, tutorial mod under the structures folder, and then looking for a Kalpen House NBT. And this is what it will spawn. The processor JSON list, as I've said, take a look at telepathic grunts to, uh, tutorial repo in order to learn more about this. It's very interesting as well. And then these two things, uh, I pretty much just keep them. Now we could, for example, do something like terrain matching just to see like what would happen. Uh, you know, you can see best for roads is rigid. And then if the house, you know, would deform things, then you can also do terrain matching. Uh, highly recommended just playing around with this as well, as it definitely does make a lot of sense. As you can see, actually, these are all of the JSON files that we need. So four JSON files and one NBT file and our custom structure will be added to new worlds. So let's go into the game, make a new world and see if our structure spawns. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft and let's just fly around and see. There we go. We already got the first Kalpen House spawning in the wild. And as you can see, there we go. So actually, this is very interesting, as you can see. It basically adapted to the terrain. So this is basically what happens if it adapts to the terrain. Uh, it does have a quite of a cool like idea. Now, um, might not be the best uh, way for this particular structure. However, it does look kind of cool that it sort of adapts to the terrain. So in this case, uh, apparently it uh, doesn't adapt the terrain to itself. It adapts itself to the terrain, which is very interesting. What is it actually called? Oh, it's called terrain matching. I believe there is also another uh, projection over here that's called terrain adaptation or terrain adapting, something like that, where uh, it adapts the terrain to itself instead of the other way around. However, I have actually not seen this before. So that is Kind of hilarious to be honest with you um but you will find if i'm just going to fly away in a little bit i should be able to find another one of those structures fairly quickly again because as i said the spacing and the distance apart is actually not that crazy uh, so we should be able to find another one let's see if we just get unlucky incredibly unlucky over here and then we have another one so that actually took way longer than i expected but fair enough. Oh, that's a geode. Okay, fair enough. Um, so there we go. There's another one. And it is also adapted to the terrain. But pretty pretty cool, actually. Like, I I kind of like the effect. I, um, you know, I'm not sure if I, like, 100% love it. But it's pretty cool. But that is pretty much how you can add a custom 
structure to Minecraft. For the sake of argument, I'm gonna put it back to rigid over here. I think that that's a little bit better. Anyway, thank you for watching. So yeah.